Hello Pisces and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well. Um, for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Um, because this is a general reading, the roles can always be flipped, they can always be reversed, okay? So Pisces, apply it to your situation, okay? So in light of Halloween coming up and well, we are in October already. Um, you'll notice I have different decks that I'll be using. So I'm going to be using these ones. It's my favorite. It's the Tarot um, of the Haunted House. Okay, beautiful illustrations there. Okay, um, and I'm going to be clarifying here with the Halloween Tarot, this classic deck here. Okay, now if you do want to purchase, um, a, you know, your own deck, okay, I'm going to put all of those links below. Um, I do not get any commission or any percentage of sales because I'm, I'm just not affiliated with any external links. Um, I believe caring is sharing. So if you like these decks, because you will be seeing them, I'll be holding them up pretty close. Um, and if you want your own deck or decks, um, all of that is below for you. And I'm going to wrap up your reading here with some messages of your person. So, you know, if they were not afraid of anything, no bars hold, and they had all the courage in the world, what would they say to you? What's in their heart? Okay. So, Let's get straight into it. Also, Pisces, later in the month, I will be uploading your career and financial reading. Okay? So, even if you want to study or are studying or about to graduate, you want to change jobs, uh, start your own business, you want more money, yeah? All of that is going to be covered for you, Pisces. Okay? So, definitely, I will be announcing when that will be uploaded for you. Okay? So, in the meantime, Let's do your weekly love reading. What's happening in your heart space? Who are you thinking about the most, whether you're in connection with them or not? All right. And I'll also be doing, uh, probably later in the month, probably more towards the end, I will be doing a singles reading for those that are 100% single as well. Okay, so um, I do want to cater to, obviously, everyone and different areas of your life, such as romance and also career and money. All right, what's going on, please, for Pisces? Okay, so I've got a bit of stuck energy here. All right, so I feel like when I get stuck energy, I kind of think of like the hanged man, which is the um, Pisces energy where, yeah, see, this did not happen before with Libra. So when something is not moving forward and it's not moving back, it's just there, but something has to give, something has to move it. Then you know, the ball has to start rolling, right? There we go, that's better. All right. For Pisces, please, what is going on? Pisces, please. What's that coming out? Three of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Maybe you met someone through study, through work. Someone wants to collaborate with you. Look what came out. We've got the sun. Okay, Leo energy. Someone makes you very happy or you make someone very happy. Let's see. What's going on? It's a beautiful card of blessings, and if there's any challenging cards, it always softens the effect of it. All right, so look what we have. We start off here with um, the number zero. So this is the full card, Aries energy, okay? It's talking about taking a leap of faith here, closing your eyes and just doing it, knowing it's a risky decision. I'm more inclined to say here that your person could be doing this, okay? Um, you could be in a long distance relationship as well. Maybe your person needs to travel to you, okay? That is not for everyone, but I really am inclined to say that they're going to make a risky decision and it involves you, Pisces, okay? Let's see, what else? What did I just say? <laughs> I said I'm getting the hanged man energy and look what we get, the hanged man. There's your energy, okay? Yep. Um, it's just weird that I said that first because I said I feel like this is like pi the um, hanged man energy and I got that stuck to energy. So when the cards don't want to mix, that for me is there's something stuck here. So something has to keep moving. Either way, your person has had a lot of time to think things from a different perspective. Okay. They're really thinking about you. And to say that they are thinking about you is an understatement. I think they're thinking about you quite a lot. Okay. Hmm. So this is not moving forward. It's not moving back here. Now you have the full there, strong Aries energy, Pisces energy, more Aries energy here with the Emperor. Okay. If you are dealing with a masculine or maybe you are the masculine, um, you could most definitely be here, manager, business owner, entrepreneur, good with your money, a leader in your own right where people look up to you, even a teacher. You could also have children as well. Either way, the true meaning of this is that your person here is represented as all the kings wrapped up into one and they're going to take action. They're looking straight at you, okay? They're not going to shoot you, um, but it's more like it's like they have you in their, um, 
how could I say this? It's laser. I always say laser focus. Okay. Wow. Well, you've got the King of Swords. Okay. The King of Swords here could be dealing with an Aquarius. There is something that they want to say. They need to get it off their chest. It's truth and it's clarity. It's about information here. Okay. Um, and there, look, there you are again, the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Okay. What I love about uh, the, um, sorry, the High Priestess energy, it's, it's, I call it my quiet card, meaning you don't really have to do a lot only because information, knowledge, secrets, good or bad. Okay. We'll see are going to be revealed to you. You're highly intuitive at the moment. You definitely could be connecting on a soul level um, with your person as well. Okay. Wow. Okay. What else? Yeah. So we've also got here the King of Pentacles. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I'm also seeing here, um, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So there could be either a commitment, a marriage engagement involved on some level. Maybe both of you were married. Maybe your person actually wasn't a commitment or marriage. Okay. Either way, last card we do have here, and this is all overall energy that's kind of simmering and brewing underneath. Um, we do have the tower, Scorpio energy. This connection may have come to an abrupt end. Okay. It was like a really sharp ending and you didn't really have time to pick up the pieces or truly absorb what just happened okay so your person may have literally just do, done a runner ghosted you okay um but i feel like you just didn't see it coming a lot of these were blindsided all right so i'll put all the cards down first so you do have the moon so your energy is coming out really strong pisces that is um pisces cancer energy we have the death card scorpio energy again we have the five of swords very strong aquarius energy don't forget we did get the king of swords at the bottom Three of Cups, Cancerian Energy. And the beating heart of the reading, what do we have? Ooh. Wheel of Fortune. Change. Destiny is happening here. Wow. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, um, Scorpio. We also have now the, um, the Ace of Pentacles. We have a lot of Earth Energy. Three of Pentacles again, Capricorn Energy. Oh, wow. We've got the Devil. Capricorn energy again, followed by the beautiful Gemini energy of the lovers. There is a lot of passion and obsession here towards you. I have to say it, highly sexually charged um, connection here as well. So let's move forward. Now, we start with the moon. I feel like a lot of you, Pisces, were in the dark about a lot of things. Your intuition may have been tapping you on the shoulder with the moon and the high priestess card saying, Pisces, there is more to this situation. Something's not adding up with this person or the situation. There could be white lies. Maybe something that they said to you didn't add up with their actions. It is about internal fears, internal anxieties about the present and the, um, the future. You know, fantasies, illusions that really should be a lot more grounded as well. Okay, a lot of things were happening behind your back. You're in the dark about a lot of things. And not everything was as it seems. And what I feel here that you didn't see was the end you didn't see the end coming. Okay, this is the death card, but this is also about renewal. Okay, it's also the fate card as well. For things to really take off again, or if, under rare circumstances, that's if, that's a big if, if you did want to revisit this communication uh, or this connection with this person, a lot of old ways of doing things, feeling things, they all have to die. Not just for you, but for your person. Okay, five of swords, okay. Your person, they are being depicted as someone very selfish, putting themselves first, empty victories, winning, but at what cost, okay? Um, so really, it's kind of showing here, it's going to be, yeah, it is complicated, but if you do want this to work, you're literally going to have to drop everything, go all the way back, and start from the ground up, as if this is a brand new connection, because I just feel like it started off on the wrong foot, and then a lot of these were completely blindsided by your person, just poof, they disappeared. Okay. Um, and if they gave you uh, an excuse about why they couldn't do it, it was a lie. It wasn't the truth. Okay. Pisces. Now we do have the three of cups. Okay. This is my union card. It is my reunion slash reconciliation card. It is about celebrating harmony, peace, balance, all being restored here. Okay. But the three for me can also represent a third party. So if your person was involved with someone else, maybe you knew that you, that you were the third party or maybe you found out you were, that's going to be a very heavy topic of discussion, okay? 
But I feel here to some degree you do want change, you want forward movement, finally, and your person wants that too, okay? Um, now, you probably may have met each other and it seems like out of luck, but it wasn't. This was orchestrated. It's about destiny. As they say, divine timing, yeah? It's just another word for destiny. Things that are meant to happen not a second sooner, not a second later, okay? But the thing is, here is your person wanting change, and finally, what do they present to you? The Ace of Pentacles, okay? You very well could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, don't have to be, all right? But what is this? So fantastic for, for career, studying finances, but for personal connections, this is something tangible that you see growing in front of you, okay? It's a commitment, all right? Loyalty that often does lead to marriage, okay? And your person's desire here, if you didn't meet, you know, through work or study and all that, the meaning is the same here for everyone, okay? Yes, we see three people. Yes, we see one is deeply hurt. This metaphorically could be you. Pisces, okay? But your person wishes to work with you now, collaborate with you, be part of, you know, Team Pisces, okay? Now, you could be dealing here with a Capricorn. We do have the devil energy. There could have been some obsession here. It is the card of extremes. It's a card of temptation here, control as well, okay? Um, it is about lust as well. Um, I'm definitely going to say that this was a very sexually charged connection as well, because we do have the lovers here, Gemini energy. It is soulmate energy, but it is also showing that the love and the passion was mutual. Can't help to notice though that we do have someone there in the background, again, showing me that possibly there could be a third party involved, okay? Either way, maybe you did find out that this was getting very unhealthy. This was getting very toxic. Maybe your person, you felt like you were being used or, you know, they were just kind of dangling you on a piece of string here, almost like the controller being in chains here, metaphorically, okay? So either way, something came crashing down and it was out of your control, Pisces. But lo and behold, your person may be presenting you with the opportunity to start fresh. Do you really trust your person? No. That is questionable. That Ten of Pumpkins is the Ten of Pentacles. Again, showing me longevity, commitment, engagements, and marriages, okay? So definitely here, your person may have probably lied about it. We'll see. We do have a Hierophant, Taurus Energy. That is my marriage card as well. So very strongly indicated here that, uh, yeah, that was definitely there. And the Six of Bats is the Six of Swords, okay? Various Energy. They do want to move into Karma Waters with you, okay? Um, most definitely some of you could be in a long distance relationship, but with that two of bats, which is the two of, uh, two of swords, Libra energy, you're not really sure at the moment. You don't want to hurry up and make that decision. You may have one foot in, one foot out. Okay. Let's see. Let's clarify it. Now, even, oh, now, even though we did get a lot of messages here, I still think it's too basic. So I do want to clarify. Let's see. What do we have, please? For Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Bats, which is the Five of Swords again. We've got the Five of Swords, Five of Swords, okay? Interesting, though. I'm wondering, really, do you actually 100%, like, honestly, if you had to be really honest with yourself, can you really, really trust this person? Do you really trust this person? Four of Pumpkins. This is the Four of um, Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, okay? It really shows that both of you are having a hard time really letting um, go of each other. Okay, you're keeping your cards close to your chest. You don't want to get hurt. Of course, I understand. You don't want to waste your time as well. There could be issues here with money as well um, with your person. Now, we do have the Four of Imps. This is the Four of Wands, my soulmate twin flame card. It's coming together. It's celebrating, but it is my marriage card. So either both of you were married and there was a third party, okay, or they were involved with someone and you were the third party. The reason why I keep saying that is because we do have the Three of Bats, which is the Three of Swords, okay? And that is more Libra energy right there, okay? It's about heartache, heartbreak, being deceived. Um, there was definitely, now, obviously, please, you know, apply it to your situation. This could very well be infidelity because the devil is about temptation as well, okay? Um, but it could be anything, and you will know what was that third party situation that intervened, okay? It did lead to the ending because we do have the death card again. We've got it there, and now we've got it there. Strong Scorpio energy. Lo and behold, now look what we've got again. More Scorpio energy. We've got the tower, okay? It came crashing down, and I feel like a lot of you is really just it took probably weeks to months for you to actually fully absorb and accept what happened. 
Last one here. Well, look what we have. We have the Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, stealing, being strategic here. Okay? Oh, I feel like... I'm, I want to say that this person can't be trusted, but I want to see first the cards on top. We also have the Wheel of Fortune happen here again, twice. So your person does want to change. Um, well, I don't know if they want to change, but they do want change here. They want forward movement. I feel like a lot of you is actually, even probably you dropped the bomb on them. Maybe you were the tower moment. We've got the full again. So notice how we're getting repeat messages, okay? Aries energy, okay? They are definitely going to take that leap of faith. They know it's risky, but they are going to come towards you. Page of Pumpkins, Capricorn energy. So there is a message here, preferably face-to-face, -face, that they need to express to you about something that you were in the dark about. That you kind of already know what it was. They do want to explore more of that conversation with you if you give them the time of day. Okay? Strength card, Leo energy. Okay? It will require all their strength, all the energy reserves that they have to bring this back to life. Okay? Absolutely. This is also the return of health for you as well. We have the Seven of Ghosts, Seven of Cups, okay? They may have had options. There is also certain confusion coming back on how to approach you and what to say. They want to say the right things. I don't want to get you upset anymore, okay? Um, they know that they're trading on very thin ice here with you. Um, there could have most definitely been options here. And maybe a lot of you actually just felt like an option. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. So with all these wrongdoings and this selfish act here, okay, they want to restore peace, balance, and harmony. This is really about waiting, being patient, but it's about taking your time also, Pisces, okay? If this was to be something that you probably wanted to explore, even, if, even out of curiosity, please take your time. Do not rush, okay? Page of Imps, okay? That's the Page of Wands. So we've got some fiery messages coming your way, okay? Um, I just hope you, this person is not coming back only for sex and passion and intimacy, okay? Because then, again, you may feel like just an option. That's not good, and you don't deserve that, Pisces, okay? Seven of Imps, that is the Seven of Wands, okay? They know very well that to restore peace, balance, and harmony, to have this beautiful reunion or reconciliation with you, um, they may have to defend their actions, okay? Um, I definitely feel here they know that you're defensive. Your walls are up, not totally up like the Nine of Wands, okay? Um, you're fighting for what you believe in, okay? Which is truth and integrity. You're not going to take this line down, okay? It's about being assertive. Um, no need to argue, though, but just speaking your truth, okay? So they, they know they're going to have to deal with this, okay? They know that. The Three of Ghosts. So we've got the Three of Cups and the Three of Cups again. So this very well <clears throat> could be a very strong desire on their end. I feel like for some of these Pisces, both of you, it's kind of mutual. You do want to come together and talk about it, at least just for closure, okay? So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, Gemini Virgo Energy. So they are manifesting this, Okay. Yes, you, both of you have the tools you need to make this work, but you don't actually have to. This is your choice, Pisces, okay? There could have been some manipulation. That's kind of like the dark side of the magician. A bit of manipulation with words like, oh, but this was your fault, or I did this because of you. I never promised you anything when they really did. So just be aware of that if you do identify with that. We do have the king of ghosts. That is Scorpio energy. Can be, you know, Pisces and Cancer. But I'm picking up um, strong um, Scorpio there with that king of cups. Now it's like now they really want to express their emotions. <laughs> they probably didn't do it in the past. So they did it wrong. But now they want to change that. They look into the future. High Priestess, there you are. Your intuition is going to say, should I accept this or not? Should I accept this or not? Because they're still going to be finding out more information from your person. There's that two of, of pumpkins, two of pentacles again, weighing up the pros and cons, trying to find the balance here between a head over heart decision. Wow. The chariot on top of the three of pentacles, okay? The fastest major, there is them charging towards you. You could be in a long distance relationship for some of you, but they want this to be victorious, okay? It's like they want to prove to you. But then I go back to, can you trust them? Have they changed long-term? Will they revert back to their old ways? Six of pumpkins is the six of pentacles. Very strong Taurus energy there, okay? So it's about equal give and take here. Restoring peace, balance, and harmony, okay? Um, they could also be financially responsible here towards like spousal support, child, um, child support, um, for example. So there's something going on there with their money. Could be in the hands of a judge, to be honest. Or the fate of their money <laughs> in the hands of a judge. 
So we've got all this passion, yeah? So on top of the devil, we have now the Ace of Imps. This is the Ace of Wands. Passion, more passionate. They're very passionate towards you. They wish to have a passionate new start, okay? We also have the Knight of Ghost, which is the Knight of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. That is them presenting their cup of love to you, okay? But um, I never, ever, ever say this in my readings, but I really feel it's like they just really want to get intimate with you very quickly. They can't resist you. I have to say it. The Nine of Swords, also Gemini energy, followed by the Star, Aquarius energy. So basically, if you gave them the time of day, it would be a really a wish come true for them, okay? But they do sincerely regret this. I really wanted to see some form of indication, can you trust them? Are they even regretful of what they did? Or are they coming back with an agenda, okay? So they are going through the dark night of the soul, okay? They are regretful. They are a little bit nervous and afraid of approaching you, okay? Um, but really, this could be a wish come true for both of you, should you proceed correctly and taking your time, okay? Um, let me just get some messages from your person to see what would they say to you. If they were not afraid, no buzz hold, what would they want to express to you if you gave them the time of day? Let's see. Oops. You want to, oh, we got two. Wow, oh, look at this one. I love you unconditionally. You don't need to change for me to love you. What else? I feel a magnetic connection towards you. Well, that's a very two of cups, three of cups and the lovers. Okay. You need to be patient. Hmm. Interesting though, because it's on top of the card of the Wheel of Fortune, which is about change. Especially if there's um marriage or divorce going on here. Look at this. I keep reading your texts. You're, I can't even talk today. Sorry. I keep reading your texts. I can't say that word. <laughs> I miss talking to you. It's probably because I've got a dry mouth at the moment. Everything reminds me of you. Spirit just said get one more. I am healing myself. Wow. I feel like that's also for you. Wow. Okay. Pisces. Your intuition is going to tell you whether this offer is genuine. They do regret it, but in the long run, I just want to make sure they don't change. So you, you, I think you will know by now, um, really, if this is your reading and can you really trust this person, okay? Um, but I do wish you the very best. If you do resonate with this, okay? Um, I really, really wish you all the healing and may your heart never, ever be broken again, Pisces, okay? I will see you in the next couple of days. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.